alaikum dear viewers. Recently, I have shown you how to figure out linear equations and exponential equations. I've also shown you how to figure out quadratic equations using the factorization method. Inshallah, today I will show you the comparison between the linear equations versus the exponential equations. So let's get started. Imagine that I'm a scientist and I'm trying to figure out the population between the turtles and two islands. These two islands, Fun Island and Deep Great Island, I call them F Island and D Island for short, they have no turtles on them. And in the turtle year zero, three turtles managed to go there. And I come back in one year and try to see the population. One year later, in the F Island, there is five turtles while in G Island there are six turtles and in I keep checking and checking to see how the population have right and this is the data that I managed to get. So can I find a difference here? Yes I can. Let's look at island F. Here we start with three turtles and we keep on adding two. Sometimes we call this our common difference where we have to start with a number and we have to keep adding the common difference. So if 10 years pass then what we'll do is two times the number of years plus the turtles we started with which is 23 and x years then two times x plus three and wow this is a linear function this linear function becomes y equals to mx plus b now i'm starting to understand what's happening if we make a graph the graph of course will be a straight line remember if we do addition or subtraction with a constant then it will always be a straight line now let's take a look at the island g now on to island G. Here we can multiply by 2. And look at that. We have a multiplier, an annual multiplier. And it's multiplying by 2 every time. So now if we want to figure out the number of turtles in year 7, then the number of turtles, which is 3 that we begin with, times 2, and then that to the power 7, that is our exponent. And look, that's perfectly an exponential function. y equals to a times b to the power x. I am totally on this. And this is the graph that this exponential function will look like. Remember that this graph, when it's exponential, it's always going to beat the linear equations because it, whenever there's a multiplier that's above 1, then it always has to beat this linear equation. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum.